Welcome to July, Scorpio. So um, this month, we're going to look at the main theme, where to focus your energy, the challenges that you might expect, and there's a Mercury retrograde. So perhaps there might be some. And then what it is you need to release, we're going to focus on money and career because on the Facebook page, I had asked, what is it you really want to focus on this month as far as these readings go? And that had the most answers. And then we're going to look at your love life. So we'll look at singles, and we will look at couples, and then the on-again, off-again relationships, the undefined. So that could be a polyamorous relationship. Maybe it's not Facebook official. Um, on-again, off-again, you know, that sort of a thing. So let's get started. The main theme for the month is activity. It's not about resting and relaxation. It's about that go, that drive. Um, where should you be focusing your energy? On what really makes your heart shine? What's really deep and important to you? Now, Scorpios are um, kind of naturally inclined to go deep, right? But sometimes we go deep and we focus in on, you know, what's not right or what we need to release and things like this. This month, it's about what makes your heart really shine. Now, general challenges that you can expect in the month are um, kind of this unwillingness or un like a, I was going to say undesire, but that doesn't make sense, a lack of desire to really make take that action. And so the main theme for the month being like, hey, you know, force yourself to get up and do these things that really make your heart shine. And they're saying that's going to be a challenge for some of you to find that enthusiasm or that excitement. So how do we get past it? And they say, you know, for some of you, it's going to be hard because as I mentioned, you might be really focusing in on the things that aren't going quite right in your life and as opposed to focusing on the things that are or on the things that you want or on the things that you desire. And in a Mercury retrograde, that's totally normal. Now, what they say is hiding here is the way that you judge yourself. Um, you know, so maybe you have some self-talk that's not really helping you and is sort of inhibiting you from doing things that will improve your life. It's, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Mel Robbins, but you know, when you get in a funk, she says it's like that five, four, three, two, one blast off, just like kind of forcing yourself off of the couch or out of bed to um, do something is going to help boost your mood to make you feel better. And so um, that's kind of going to be a challenge for you this month, but will pay off for you huge if you're able to do it. Now, what is there? Oops. They're saying that some of you just feel like you literally can't even, but that's why you just have to like kind of just stand up and start doing something. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> um, so long as you start getting your body moving, the energy will sort of shift for you and you'll feel better. They say this in the alternative is just kind of sitting there and feeling a tad bit anxious about like questioning yourself, like why am I not, you know, succeeding? Why am I not going after the things that I want? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so as far as money and career goes this month, they're saying there's something here that um, isn't doesn't feel necessarily right for you, like you're stuck in a cycle. Now, for some of you, this is going to sound really silly, but it's like go and look at your budget and see if there's something that's like a monthly subscription that's coming out that you don't actually need. Um, for me, that might be Hulu, <laughs> you know, like um, I got it so I could watch certain shows with my child that are not available on Netflix since we don't have cable. But now I don't really need it because I stole my ex-husband's um, YouTube TV account information. And so, you know, why am I paying for that every month? Uh, something like that. They're saying, some of you, there's like certain things that you're contributing to every month that you no longer should be, that uh, it doesn't actually help you or serve you anymore, it doesn't provide any benefit, so look at that. Now for the rest of you that don't have those sort of things going on, they say there's less to worry about. Um, so the majority of you, that's really the best information as far as money and career goes, uh, like otherwise, things are looking pretty good, like there might be things coming for you that you don't necessarily anticipate, that you couldn't anticipate that are coming. Um, that could be bonuses at work. That could be somebody just sending you a bunch of money in the mail. You know, for example, um, maybe your grandparents say, you know what, I know you're an adult now, and so I don't send you $34 when you turn 34 anymore, but, um, you know, I was just thinking I had this extra money laying around and I wanted to send it to you. 
uh, a happy 4th of July. It could be <laughs> something goofy like that. Um, as far as love goes for singles, we have, you know, you might not be talking to anybody new and anybody that you might be currently talking to, you might be feeling like they're not telling you the whole truth. Uh, how, like, as far as people who wouldn't be telling you the whole truth, it's like you might be communicating with somebody who's married or otherwise in a marriage type relationship and that hasn't yet come to the surface. And so that could be very disappointing. Um, there you go. Obviously, that's not information you would love to hear. But for the rest of you, they say, this might just be one of those things that's kind of making you feel like I don't want to get up and take action and go out and try to meet new people or go and create an online dating account or start conversations. That might be that vibe. So if you force yourself to sort of get out there and um, work on it, they're saying this would actually be something very beneficial for you. Um, you'd find like either that you figure out how to nurture your own feelings and get like a lot more clear and focused on what it is that you desire, which will help you to attract it. Um, and then for others of you, you might find somebody very special this month, but they say it might take time. It might not be until the end of the month that you really see the benefit of that. So keep at it. Now, for those of you who are in coupled relationships, Scorpio, they're saying this month, um, you know, there's not much to say so far as like spiritual aspects of the relationship, but your partner will be definitely kind of putting you on this pedestal, really admiring you. Whether you notice that or not, they say this is a good thing for you, though, because it brings more balance to the relationship. So if your partner is offering to give you a foot rub or a back rub and stuff like that, and you might feel like you're taking advantage of them, absolutely you are not taking advantage of them. It's time for them to kind of put you um, first. And so you might be worried, you know, if your partner says, hey, I really want to take you on a vacation. I really want to spend a lot of money on um, buying you a new outfit, like really caring for my partner. Uh, allow them to do that. There is enough abundance available for that. And they say this can change your relationship in really positive and wonderful ways. And this can become like kind of the new trend instead of you maybe giving a lot to the relationship. Now it becomes more balanced. This is a really good thing for you. And so, um, you know, if they say, can I do this thing for you? The answer should be yes. Thank you. As opposed to like maybe feeling guilty, like, no, I'm not going to take advantage, whatever. Now, for those of you in on again, off again relationships, polyamorous relationships, anything that would maybe be undefined, they say anything is really possible. Um, this month. You might not be very excited about your situation, um, but you should feel very confident about it. So that, my darlings, is July. I love you so much, and I will see you in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!